Hi everybody, this is Spooky. I had a request asking how you would put, uh, like, say you had a list of a hundred words and you wanted to put those words over your video, maybe because you were doing a video about, say, all 50 states, for example. Um, it would take forever to go through and, like, put each of the words in a little text box and have it show up on the screen. So I'm going to show you another way using one of the built-in features here. Uh, you have what's called credit roll on your media generators. We're going to go ahead and import a clip here for uh, scrolling on transparent. We'll bring that in there first. Instead of having the text scroll up across the image, I want to go ahead and have uh, the words in the lower right hand corner. So we're going to start off by making some changes to this media. First thing under properties we're going to change this to a timed sequence. Okay. Second thing we need to do under time sequence is we want to go ahead and change the display type and we'll do that as one at a time. Now you also have some effects. You can uh, have it fade in, uh, you can have it enter from the left or from the right, top, bottom and so forth. You have zoom in, you have wipe, uh, so there's a couple different effects. I'm going to use fast fade in. Okay, and I'm going to use fast fade out. And then what we're going to do here, uh, we could sit here and we could type in all the different text one line at a time. Uh, so say Alaska, say Alabama. We could do that it would take me forever to do that and most of the time if you're gonna do some sort of video that has a long list of words like that you probably already have them in some other kind of document so let's go ahead we'll open up a text document here now this has to save time uh, all 50 states and their capital okay so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this and copy Then what I'm going to do here, where it says insert text here, I'm just going to click that once so that the whole bar is in blue, and then I'm going to press Control V. That's going to paste all of my text, one per line. Okay. I'm going to remove the ones I don't need here. And I need to make sure that they're all the same. Iowa, uh, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, for some reason they didn't populate correctly. So let's make let's make some minor changes here. Okay. We're going to change these, select them all. We're going to change it to the blue, which is single line. Now they're all the same. Now if I play this clip, you'll see all the text flashing across there. Now that's a little bit too fast. Uh, for anybody really to be able to read or make any sense of. So we're going to make another change here. We're going to right click on the media, choose properties, then we're going to go to media on the tab here, and we're going to change the amount of time this clip is. Let's change this to 1 minute and 30 seconds. Now what that is, is that determines how long it will go before it repeats itself. Okay, actually let's make that one minute fifteen seconds. Okay. Now as I play this, you'll notice that these titles change a lot slower. You can also make some changes here uh, with these titles. For instance, you can move them. So let's get here. It says uh, Dover, Delaware. Let's go ahead and move that down. You just click on the little square in the corner and move it to where you want. Be sure to keep this area large enough to fit the biggest of the words uh, or biggest of the combination of words that you have in your list. You can go to Styles and under Single Item, now you have Header, Single Item, and Dual Item, but we're going to use Single Item. You can change the font, make it whatever you want. Okay, oh, that one's kind of cool looking. I'm going to increase this here to 28 so it'll show up a little bit better. 
and I think I'm going to move that over and down a little bit more. Now hopefully you can see that alright. And then let's play it again. Oh, look at that. Montgomery was too big, so I've got my font style too big. So we can go ahead and change that. Let's try a different font. See how that looks. There we go. Impact. Nice standard font there. You can change the tracking to increase the amount of space between the letters. You can shrink it or expand it. Let's see how that looks. Now if you're doing like a shout out video or something like that, this might be an effective way for you to do it. Um, hopefully this makes a lot of sense to you. If you have any questions, definitely um, leave me a comment here. I do want to point out that since this is transparent and it's in the top track, I can go ahead and put in a video below that if I want. All sorts of videos here. Let's find something that's appropriate. Uh, let's let's just try this here. There we go. Remove that audio clip. Now, one of the downfalls of doing your text this way is it doesn't give you uh, the same options as far as putting uh, like a border around the text but depending on what you're doing that may not be important to you um, if you want to put a border around the text and stuff then you're gonna have to do it as individual clips most likely hope this helps you out and thanks for watching